two years into their affair, Thelma introduces Edward to a friend and fellow American. Her name is Wallace Simpson, born Bessie Wallace Warfield in 1896. There's nothing that hasn't been said about Mrs. Simpson. I mean, you know, she's even been accused of being a man. She's accused of having affairs with all sorts of ridiculous people that she didn't have affairs with. In fact, she came from a very respectable Baltimore family. Wallace grows up in genteel poverty in Baltimore, marries young, divorces, and marries again in 1928. Her new husband is Ernest Simpson, an Anglo-American shipping executive. They set up home in an apartment in Bryanston Court, in a smart but unfashionable part of London. Wallace is introduced to Emerald Cunard, who encourages her friendship with the prince. Emerald declares that Mrs. Simpson is a woman of character. Wallace had charisma. There's really no other way to describe it. When she entered a room, all eyes would turn on Wallace. She was quick, she was funny, quite well read, extremely good at wisecracks, and uh, she was fun. She would establish powerful eye contact, making the man feel that he was the only man in the room. And it was a terribly sexy trick. It really worked. Somebody described her as being like a polished arrow. By the beginning of 1933, Wallace is seeing the prince every week as she writes to a friend. Thelma Furness is the Prince of Wales's girl, and I chaperone her when she goes out to Fort Belvedere to stay with him. She comes by for me once a week in her car. Before too long, Wallace moves from chaperone to mistress. It is her friend Thelma who gives Wallace her opening when she travels to New York for a few weeks. Thelma said to Wallace Simpson, somebody must look after the prince, you know, he'll be terribly lonely. The poor little man, could you just keep an eye on him for me? And she said, oh, all right, of course, I'll do that. When Thelma returns from New York, she realizes that something has happened between Wallace and the prince. The revelation comes at lunch. The prince picks up food to eat with his fingers and Wallace playfully slaps his hand. In her autobiography, Thelma writes, I knew then that she had looked after him exceedingly well. Edward is infatuated. She treated him like a small boy who needed direction, and that's exactly what he responded to. I remember my father went to a dinner party, and he found himself sitting next to Mrs. Simpson. And he put in his diary afterwards, She's hard as nails and doesn't love him. But Wallace has her champions, notably Emerald Cunard. She invites the prince, Wallace, and her husband, Ernest, to her box at Covent Garden to watch a performance of the Barber of Seville. <laughs> The audience can look up at this box and they see the new American court, Emerald Cunard, Wallace, and the Prince of Wales all hugger mugger together, and this frisson runs through the entire. This is it. That is one of those sort of rare, completely public moments because the, the, the rest of it happened behind closed doors. 